long and ago, and before the days of Arthur. Hortigern, the Earl of Gwent, made himself king by treachery and murder. And to secure himself in his tyrannies, he hired mercenary soldiers from beyond the North Seas. And in order to pay them, <laughs> he gave them land. He gave land to the Saxons. But the Saxons stopped and not there. They captured York, Winchester, and London, driving the people of this island before them as wolves drive sheep and shepherded. And Vortigern fled before them into Wales. The story really begins uh, in Snowdonia, a place called Dinas Emrys, the fort of Ambrosius. Uh, where the uh, British king, Vortigern, was trying to build a tower and it kept collapsing. And his magicians told him that he must find a boy without a father and sacrifice him on the foundations. For if such a boy could be found, that boy's blood, if mixed with the mortar, would hold the stones of the tower firm. So they made a careful search, and they finally found in the town of Carmarthen a lady of noble lineage, and a nun, moreover, that had given birth to a child by the spirits of the air. For as the learned Apuleius reports, certain spirits between the earth and the moon can hold converse with mortals, and so beget children. And certainly, such a one was the father of this boy. Merlin was his name. A few children playing ball just outside the tower. And one shouted out insultingly at the other, Oh, you child without a father, can't you catch the ball or something like that? And they knew they'd found what they wanted. So they took the child up to... Uh, where it is now at the foot of Snowdon, Dinasemris, and uh, brought him to be sacrificed. More than 1400 years later, close to the site of Dinasemris in weekend workshops, enthusiastic storytellers still recount this tale to those in search of their Celtic roots. According to the legend, the young Merlin facing death challenged King Vortigern and his druids. He told them the real reason why the tower kept collapsing. If you dig here, you'll find an underground pool. Drain that pool and you'll find two stone jars. In those... No. But wait, he said. Dig now and prove me wrong. Well, Fortigen was impressed by the courage and confidence of this boy, and so he ordered his soldiers to dig, and soon the earth was flying through the air. And sure enough, they found this underground pool. They drained the pool, and there were the two stone jars. Cautiously, they approached the jars. But as they did, the two of them cracked open like eggs hatching, and out emerged these two fledgling dragons. Two dragons soared into the air and attacked each other in aerial battle. Until with a great cry, the white dragon drove the red away into the west. And Merlin drew in the breath of prophecy. And he spoke these words as the bards relate. The red dragon represents the people of Britain. The white dragon is the Saxon invader. And so it is that they will chase each other back and forth and back and forth across this land until such a time as arises the boar of Cornwall. Only then will the invaders be driven from these shores and peace return to the land. 